Welcome to strategic training videos on how to pass your securities exam. In this video, we're going to be discussing common stocks. Common stockholders. Common stockholders are the owners of the company. As owners of the company, common stockholders have the right to vote. And they also have the right to share in the company's profits. That means is if the company does extremely well, common stockholders could potentially make unlimited amounts of money. Whereas bondholders and preferred stockholders are limited to whatever the um, interest on the bond is or the dividend on the preferred stock. A person buys common stocks for the dividends and potential appreciation. Uh, someone buying bonds or preferred stocks, for example, are not really seeking appreciation. I mean, the bond, the preferred stock or the bond could go up slightly, but it's not going to go up uh, in a huge amount. So someone's not going to make a lot of money on uh, on uh, capital gains uh, when buying a preferred stock or buying a bond. Stockholders cannot be sued and are not obligated to pay the corporation's debts. If a company goes bankrupt, the common stockholders are not responsible to pay their debts if they got sued if the company goes out of business for something fraudulent uh it's not it's not the um, uh, common stockholders responsibility um the company uh if some of you probably remember a company called enron went out of business huge scandal there was a uh, you know huge accounting uh, fraud going on in, behind the scenes the principals of the company are probably still sitting in jail. And this happened many years ago. But the, the common stockholders were not responsible um, for the fraudulent activities that happened with, uh, with Enron or any other company for that matter. Let's look at common stock values. First one is called the market value. Market value is the price of a stock in the secondary market. What determines the market value is supply and demand. The book value is the value of the stock during liquidation. So when the company is going out of business and it is being liquidated, the price of the stock is called the book value. Par value of a common stock is a purely arbitrary value is for accounting purposes only. It really has no relevance whatsoever. The par value of preferred stocks or bonds is not an arbitrary number. These are very important numbers because par value um, is, is uh, usually $100. The par value of a preferred stock is usually $100. And the stated dividend is usually paid as a percentage of par. Uh, similarly, the bonds have a par value of $1,000 and the interest is paid a percentage of par. So these are important numbers for preferred stocks and bonds because the dividend in the preferred stock and the interest in a bond are paid as a percentage of par values. So it's these are extremely important numbers, whereas dividend in a common stock is paid whatever the, the board of directors declares to be a fair dividend where, uh, no, from profit sharing. Let's look at the five categories of common stocks. First one's called authorized. These are the shares authorized to be sold. When a company wants to sell shares, they go to SEC and they have to register those shares. Whatever shares are registered, uh, those are called authorized. Issued shares, these are the shares actually sold to the public. The company could issue uh, you know, 100 million shares, but they're only going to issue right away say 70 million so these are the shares actually sold to the public unissued is whatever is not sold so authorizes what they authorize whatever the issue is called issued what they don't issue is the, these are unissued shares treasury shares some companies buy back their common stocks they can't force people to sell them the common stocks but they buy them back well you know people voluntarily want to sell their back their stocks um, the company could buy them back just like any other investor those shares would be considered treasury shares 
and the last one is outstanding these are the shares that are, are in the hands of the public so let's look at an example let's suppose a company authorizes 100 shares okay and they only issue 80 so what's unissued would be 20 okay. if a company buys back 30 of those shares 30 of the 80 then what would be remaining is 50 so those are the outstanding shares out of all the types of shares only outstanding shares carry voting rights or um, or paid dividends so only the outstanding shareholders are going to have the right to vote or are paid dividends from the company if you like this video give us a thumbs up like and subscribe to our channel to see all the upcoming videos we're gonna have as they come and uh, please leave us a comment we'd love to hear your feedback